Hi everyone, it's Linnea, and today I have a video using the Caffeinated Flamingo stamp set from the Rabbit Hole Designs. And this is a new stamp set. It's uh, just released March 1st, and it's so super cute. And I wanted to create an alcoholic background. So I'm going to start with some Flamingo ink and some Valencia ink, and I believe it's watermelon as well. And I do end up throwing in um, a little bit of a red and a yellow as I go. So usually I work with Yupo paper, but I don't know why today I decided to use the Tim Holtz alcohol ink cardstock, but I did, so that's what I'm using. I added some blending solution, and now I'm coming in with the pink, this is the flamingo, and um, some watermelon, and then I'll come in with the orange, the Valencia, in a little bit. And there are many different ways to use alcohol inks. I use them all the time, but this is my first time doing it on camera. This is a super messy process for me. So um, excuse me if I seem a little awkward. I've never done it on camera before. But basically for this background, all I'm doing is just adding the inks, um, just dropping them around randomly. And now I'm using just a regular drinking straw to blow these around and blend them a little bit. And then I'll use my heat gun. Um, as I dry it, I keep adding some more dots, and then I dry it again. I love the look of those hard edges. So I just drop some ink on, dry it with my heat gun, um, add a little more ink, dry it, and that's how I get those hard edges and those pools of color. I have a habit of using too much alcohol ink. I just always do, but I'm gonna come in with some foil here in a little bit once I have my background all finished. And this is gonna be basically it. I'm gonna add some mixative because I just can't resist. This is the rose gold. And I tried to get it so that it would kind of streak more than blob, but my bottle, I don't know if all of them or if I have a weirdo one, it doesn't squeeze at all. So I ended up just dropping it on. And to get this to work, I add just a drop of blending solution onto each of those gold mixative drops. And then I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. The mixatives, you want to be careful not to dry it too much because see up in that top left corner, I kind of have those little bubbles. That's from when I applied too much heat. Okay, so this is where the pooling of those inks really becomes beneficial. I have some gold foil from Deco Foil, and once I've let my background sit for not long, maybe like five, 10 minutes, you're gonna have a pretty dry background, but still have some tacky areas. I'm just gonna put the gold foil on it and see how it grabs onto that pool of ink. Super cool. All right, so this is the Flamingo from the Caffeinated Flamingo stamp set. I'm gonna do some really, really basic coloring with my Staedtler felt tipped markers. I, I know flamingos are usually pink, but I am really drawn to the Blamingo sentiment. And when I thought of Blamingo, I was like, oh yeah, a gray scale flamingo would be super blah, <laughs> but super cute at the same time. So all I did was I used three different shades of gray added them around my image, and now I'm using my water brush pen to blend out all that color. When I do watercoloring, I add all the color first, and then I come back in and blend it all out, all together. So I did the batches of the lightest gray, then the medium gray, and then the dark gray last, so that I wouldn't have too much blending of color. And I love that I can pick up little bits of color and move it around, like this little flamingo's eyelid, I wanted it to be darker to really make him look super tired. So let's start pulling this card together. I have a piece of just black pinstripe um, pattern paper. I put that down on my card and then I used a stitched rectangle die on my background. I didn't like the left edge. I had a little smudge on there but I definitely wasn't gonna start over the whole background. So I just used a stitched rectangle and I cut off that left side and now I could have those stripes peeking out from the outside as well so it worked out. I'm using some uh, foam squares behind the flamingo and behind the sentiment. And I struggled, so I cut most of that out, but you know, those foam squares, they get me every time. Um, I'm gonna add some clear Spectrum Noir sparkle pen just to make this little flamingo flamingo sparkle a little bit. And I really love that gray flamingo against that colorful, sparkly, shiny background. I think the whole thing really worked out super cute. 
So if you want to see some still photos of this project and you can find product links and all that good stuff over on my blog, I'll leave that link in the YouTube description. And I thank you all for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.